is going on, Raider Nation? Raider Art from the Raider Art Show. Welcome to number five of Raider Art Show. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below. You can give me a call at 209-809-0195, or you can leave a voicemail, and I'll share it to my next episode. So, um, now, before we get started, I want to do this little dedication today. Is uh, something like people important or a person that, you know, we have been friends throughout the years in Oakland. Um, our dedication is the man who is the uh, co-founder and the vice president of the uh, Black Hole is Rob Rivera. Now, Rob, you know, Rob Rivera is something like he's something special to us as a Raider Nation. I mean, he was the one who was part of creating all this kind of like a great fan culture for Raider fans to come in and tell gifts for like the uh, Black Hole. And, um, and he was the one who was actually hired my mom to give the opportunity to get photography in the sideline field around 2011 with her dreams. And, um, for me personally, I mean, I've never been close to Rob before because I, I met him a couple times at the tailgates and, um, you know, Rob, I mean, he, he has always something like in me. I mean, like, um, when I started doing this around 2005, I didn't, I did not know anybody at the time when I, when I started over at the D lot and, um, my mom actually introduced me to him and, uh, basically he just, you know, saying hello and we were just taking pictures with me and my sister and, um, yeah, and he, he's always something for people. He's always something like, um, every time we like text, you know, something about me and, uh, he texts me, uh, something about him, like, you know, personal, uh, personality in many ways. And, uh, I think the last time I called him was at the, like a uh, couple months or weeks ago. Uh, he's saying like, um, they're doing something project for the, uh, the black hole for the chapters around the world in the United States. And, um, yeah, that's basically what he was, like, so busy on, and uh, the last text that I have from him is that, you know, he was not feeling well, and uh, the COVID started to get attack on him, and he was sent to the hospital for the ICU thing, and um, so, yeah, it's pretty sad that, you know, he's, he's gone, he had passed away, um, and, you know, we're all sad about it, and we talk about him on, you know, social media and radio shows that uh, JG the Brick was going to be doing some dedications for him on Raider Nation Radio, and um, it's something I, I always be cherished for him forever because um, it, he changed my life in many ways and uh, like many other ways for you know people as well that um, I'm sending condolences to Donna, uh, his sister, uh, wife, and um, his family, and it's just really, really heartbroken to what, you know, what happened in that, that day, um, he was fighting hard, you know, battling with the COVID, and it just really sucks, I mean, COVID just continues to let people drop like flies, I mean, that is so crazy, and um, I, I just don't know what to say, made a lot of tribute for Rob as on social media, if, if you uh, Raider fans can do it for him, dedication for him, that's fine, and uh, for uh, Miami at the uh, Raiders and uh, for this Sunday's game, you can also do some little bit, uh, moment of silence on the uh, Rob as well for at the J-Lot, uh, which, you know, they are starting to announce for like this kind of a dedication for him, because uh, he was originally, uh, he was originally wanted to attend the Allegiant Stadium, but it didn't happen actually because um, I think some of his uh, his family are about to be doing some like the uh, the might get like a legacy brick for him in certain ways, but we're not really sure about it. Uh, maybe his daughter will might figure something out. Um, we don't know what who's going to be the vice president of the Black Hole now, and um, it's it's going to be hard for like finding uh, some of the members, the original members to. Uh, to take over the uh, the original of the chapter in Oakland, so uh, we're not really sure. So yeah, my heart goes out to Adana Rivera, uh, Rob Rivera's his wife and his family, his daughter. I uh, just wanted to send condolences to all you guys, and I'm really sorry for your loss. I mean, I mean, we're kind of upset a little bit, you know, about this uh, situation that he was going through, and uh, we'll we'll keep his legacy live on, and uh, uh, his legacy will never die in many ways. You know, peace and love and positivity. That's my main message to you all and i'm really sorry for that and uh uh just try to take care you know let's let's battle covid together you know try to battle get the vaccine and we'll go back to our normal lives so uh yeah so that's my uh dedication for rob okay so uh moving on to the uh raider news uh we basically won the two of the games that we won so um 
after a premature be- uh, bench clearing celebration of a couple of the lunchers and almost cost of the Raiders the game, the party could finally begin for real after the first game with fans in Las Vegas. The Raiders won an exhilarating and exhausting season opener uh, thanks to a furious rally, a uh, Steeler defensive play from Carl Nassib, and the perfect uh, play call that the produce a 31-yard touchdown pass from Derek Carr to uh, Zay Jones that gave the Raiders a 33-27 to a 27 win over the uh, Baltimore Ravers on Monday night. So yeah, that that game it was almost close for us, you know, in the first um, regular season over at the Allegiant Stadium. So um, yeah, the uh, Ravens uh, for the uh, offense uh, they were kind of cool a little bit, like almost. Man, I mean, we're almost kind of lost at that moment, but uh, they were really so good and fast, and you know the quarterback was good on throwing the ball and wide receiver, and um, I just cannot believe it. I know it's kind of sucks for us, but it's just. This is how it is, and um, yeah, like they were they were going up until like the 27 the score, and for us the Raiders uh, for the the offense uh, quarterback you know Derek Carr's you know he was almost making good on throwing the ball uh, to the wide receiver or running backs, and uh, yeah, I mean I, he just he missed the throws a couple times, but he's still good at it. I know people are hating on him still, but uh, like I said, you know just please don't hate on him. So. Um, yeah, I mean, like we we got like we got the same score for the twenty seven. It it was costing us for like the first overnight in the Allegiant Stadium, and so uh, they're trying their best and hard. And um, you know, Darren Waller, um, I would go you know go for him. And I I heard a lot of stories about uh, Darren Waller's uh, his past in the story that he was coming from the background of a drug overdose and uh, what well, he was playing for the Baltimore Raven, I think. Uh, try to, you know, they, they are not allowing him to, uh, play for, like, the rest of the season, and, uh, he, he did make some choices to go into rehab and, uh, try to get his meditation going and then just stay focused on what he does, uh, just doing some practice every day and staying healthy, and, uh, you know, he got choice, uh, he got chosen by, um, uh, John Gruden to give him the opportunity to play for the Raiders, and, um, yeah, and, uh, you know, I've seen Darren Waller, his first plays, and, um, recently, and, uh, he's, he's obviously pretty good on what he does, and, uh, that's the main person I would go for, and especially, um, uh, uh, I think, uh, I forgot who it is, like, the number 11, um, Oh yeah, uh, Henry Ruggs III, I forgot. Yeah, I mean, I go for him as well uh, as a uh, wide receiver, so uh, that's that's the part of, for me, you know, going into the uh, offensive players in many, uh, many ways, especially uh, the defense players, uh, like Max Crosby, uh, I would go for him as a tackler. He, I, I'm Obviously, he's good on tackling, but um, not that great like Howie Long and stuff, but, um, you know, I, I would obviously go looking for him to, you know, be the next great tacklers of all time for the Raiders, and uh, I'm not really sure, you know, back to Carr, uh, I'm not really sure that he's a great MVP player, not really, like, not the top of it, but, like, a little, uh, I just don't even see him in many ways, in, uh, many ways, in certain ways, that he, he could be good, um, I know that they got a lot of points for, like, this year, in the preseason, and the season, uh, for the Raiders to hopefully go into the playoffs, uh, next year, we have the chance to do it, uh, if we lose, then, you know, like Al Davis would say, just dream, baby, um, that's, that's the main part of what they're gonna do for the opportunity and responsibility to take those kind of, uh, plays in certain ways, so, um, so, in other news, um, John Gruen's long, uh, Aldis multi state uh, multi year rebuilding the projects and uh, may finally be nearing its end. Uh, the Swaggers might be back for the um, the Las Vegas Raiders. The deep ball certainly is. Uh, Derek Carr threw a 382 yard and two touchdowns, including um, pretty uh, 61 yard uh, strike to Henry Ruggs midway through the fourth quarter as the uh, Raiders topple. Um, Pittsburgh's for 26 to 17 on Sundays. Um, so yeah, uh, the they were playing against the uh, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers recently uh, over at the uh, Pittsburgh, and uh, they um, they kind of get they kind of get close, you know, as usual, like the last time for the uh, Ravens. So um, uh, we had some couple of the players that got injured uh, proposally, but um, 
like couple, but we all, we all know that you know Derek Carr almost got you know got hit and injured, but he just still never gives up for any chance to um, you know try to never give up for playing as a quarterback. But um, they got the score and they they basically won. So it was like 26 to 17, and uh, that that's pretty good for what you know Derek Carr was throwing to uh, Henry Ruggs to the touchdown. What I see in my eyes. And um, it's that's the perfect uh, perfect point to make a view for any any other uh, offensive players to make uh, decisions to what they do. And so we still got a long way to go. Um, I know John Gruen is going to be doing something you know special to what to figure something out what the plays are. And uh, I'll be rooting for him as a coach. And uh, certain ways that you know I'll, I'll make we'll we'll probably make it uh, through you know in many ways. But. Uh, all right, so that's it for the uh, Raider news, and now we're going into the um, Raider reports featuring Oakland Raider Savage, Raider Homer, and Raider Puppet, the three circus. Uh, they recently at the Las Vegas um, were doing something from the uh, helicopter they were on recently. So uh, yeah, let's check out the reports of what they're going, uh, what they're going on, and uh, see what's happening. Raider puppet lies. He's all right though. It was such a trip. How was it there, Salvador? How are you, Savage? It was a uh, hell of fun. Hell of hell fun. fun. How you doing, Homer? Hey, How was what's it? Up, Raider Nation, that shit was fun. Thank you, Raider puppet, for hooking it up. Raider puppet, his lips can't move. He's so afraid because he was flying in a helicopter. So at least I'm drunk. <laughs> he's actually a ventriloquist right now. He's talking without his lips moving. So. And there's our pilot, Mike Bielik, the hey, official guys. pilot to the Three Ring Circus here in Las Vegas, Nevada. So we appreciate it, Mike. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Bye. you. Wow, Raider Puppet, you know, giving thanks to Mike <laughs> for the helicopter, you know, tour. Man, in like, uh, in front, like, in the city on top. But, uh, yeah, shout outs to, uh, David Michaels, uh, Oakland Raider Savage, and Raider Homer. Actually, that's our next one, uh, Raiders Conversation. Uh, our guest is Raider Homer. I will be having him on the show and uh, see what's you know what we're gonna learn from him as a uh, the black you know president of the Black Hole Chapter in Austin, Texas. Uh, what he does for the uh, organization and charities. Uh, what he's gonna do next uh, for as a Raider fan uh, to see what's going on in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the call of Raider Homer himself. <laughs> Raider Nation, here he is, Raider Homer, the president of the Black Hole Chapter in Austin, Texas, and known as the podcast host for the Only Nation Podcast and Raider Homer channel on YouTube. Welcome, Homer. Thank you, brother. How you doing, brother Art? I am doing good. Just at, uh, you know, evening or afternoon here in California. I'm not really sure, like, what time. It's actually, like, 4.33 right now, p.m. Yeah, so, 6.30. What? It's 6.33 in Austin. Oh, okay. Now, uh, anyways, I know you, I, I just want to thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to come here uh, just to learn something more about you you have done for the uh, charities, uh, the black hole work, and all that. But before we get into those, let's find out how you became a Raider fan. So, you know, way back, the, uh, you know, Bo Jackson was really you know, popular. And so I, you know, saw his commercials and and get the Royals and two star cartoons and all. And, and then, of course, he got injured, but I just kind of stuck with the team because, you know, beyond the, the awesome colors and all, 
you know, I like the history of the Raiders as far as inclusivity and diversity and Al Davis uh, giving people that were out. So I like I liked all that. You know, it didn't matter what race you were, as long as you could play football and help the team win. That's all Al cared about. So that really me, uh, and you know, because that's what's kind of helped me hold on to my positivity. You know, throughout all these years of losing. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, I did buckle. You know what I mean? In 2011, and you know, I you know, I didn't go to the game in Houston when when Michael Hope got the interception when I should have went to the game. You know, and, and seen and been part of one of the best games ever because I was angry so much. Oh. So that I kind of decided, you know, never do that again. You know what I mean? And that was a you know what kind of led me to become a homer. Uh, you know, we can get more into that whenever you're ready. Oh, no problem. But uh, before that, let's find out, like, what, what, who are some of your favorite, like, legendary players or current ones today? Well, of course, the current player today is Derek Carr. You know, I like the guy's passion for not only the team, but the... Uh, sure, he hasn't won a lot, but he has a lot of fourth quarter comebacks, which to me means a lot that, you know, he can win and he's capable as long as he feels you know comfortable and confident and sometimes that's the question with Derek Carr but uh I'd have to say right now, of course as we just talked about Bo Jackson uh Bo Jackson is my favorite Raider of all time my favorite athlete of all time I flew to California to get his autograph I spent like a grand on just Bo Jackson autographs and sometimes I think back and say hey should I have gotten some of the other guys autographs you know, but uh, I was such a huge Bo Jackson fan. I took that opportunity. But Bo Jackson is my favorite athlete. Now, uh, if Derek, hey, well, Bo Jackson is my favorite athlete oh, yeah. and my favorite Raider right now. But if Derek Carr wins the Super Bowl, I think Derek Carr is going to be my favorite Raider. Yeah, but, like, for somehow, like, the fans keep booing at him. Like, I know he makes mistakes a lot. Like you said, his, like, pinky, his legs, and I, I've seen that. I've seen that back then in Oakland, and, you know, he's trying his best. It's it, it's kind of hard sometimes. Like, what is your thoughts about it? Well, I mean, I think Derek Carr's tough, even though he had that year and a half, maybe two years, where you could tell he was uncomfortable in the pocket after that back injury and the leg injury and the pinky injury, you know, the list you just said. Uh, but the thing is, is he's only missed a handful of games with uh, considering guy is durable. You know what I mean? And, and he's more than willing to uh, put his body on the line and, and, and take extra time during the off season to get, to get better. And that's for the fan base. So for me, it's like, you know, it's not his fault that the team had to move and that he's seen coach after coach after coach. Uh, you know, he's had to deal with all kinds of turnaround as far as the rule. But, uh, you know, I think that, you know, coming into his eighth year that he's going to excel, especially being in his fourth year in Gruden's offense. So I think that Raider Nation just hold on a little bit longer, man, because right now, especially after that Monday night game, it's proven that Derek Carr is, is a comeback kid. So... Oh, yeah. You might have to build a defense. You got to build a defense around him. You have to. It's not even a might. You know, you have to. So uh, he's not necessarily Patrick Mahomes, but he's our quarterback and he's capable of winning in, in you know, on night lights. And uh, so just stay patient, Raider Nation. And, and uh, you know, time will tell. You know, we're coming up on the end of his contract. I believe they're going to extend his contract. Uh, but I think the most important thing is to remember, you know, there's a lot of players that have come on this team that I didn't personally, but I cheered for them. You know, and I think a lot of what Derek Carr's, uh, a lot of his, the people that don't like him, I think a lot of that is tied to who he is as a person. And not, you know, and that's what blinds those people and they attack him as a football player. You know what I mean? You know, but it, that's another topic. But, you know, just stay patient. That's what I would say. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't blame for Carr or even Gruden. Like for me personally, um, you never know. Yeah, no, I mean, I believe that Gruden, you know, he is gonna be able to win a Super Bowl and erase that memory of back in '02 of that Super Bowl. You know, because uh, Derek Carr, like I've said before, and sometimes Raider Rob, you know, he'll get on my ass. <laughs> Somewhere in between Brad Johnson and Rich Gannon, you know. Uh, 
So I believe that Gruden can win with Derek Carr. But Gruden, even himself, his best season was, you know, with the Buccaneers when he had that excellent defense. So I think uh, that's, you know, that's something that just shows that we got to have a defense. And now this year we're building that defense. So I think that Gruden and Carr will be able to run the offense well enough to get us a Super Bowl here soon enough. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Now, uh, for this one, this question, where did the Raider Homer started, and how did you wanted to get interest into the podcast world on YouTube? So, again, you know, I, you know, I did what I missed that game when Al passed away, so I, you know, re, you know, committed myself to the team no matter what, and uh, you know, I, so I was always. You know, now nah, I'd rather go with the team as far as any decision as personnel decision, you know. And so when the Khalil Mack thing came about, uh, you know, I called it. I said, watch Gruden get, uh, you know, frustrated with Khalil Mack and trade him. And everybody said I was crazy, but sure enough, they traded him. So that started the whole debate, you know, is Gruden out of touch? You know, there was a huge schism in the Raider Nation, you know, over that decision. Uh, because, you know, Gruden was saying he was going to do everything he could to keep him. But you know how stuff goes, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, arguing with people on Facebook, you know, uh, I was always defending the team's uh, decision. And a friend of mine named Lucky, he uh, he said, man, you're just being a homer. And so all those memes of uh, Homer Simpson in the Raider gear were floating around at that point, you know, where he was at, you know, Earth or Las Vegas, Oakland, L.A., Mars, and, you know, Homer not backing into the bush. And so I just got to put two and two together because oh I always God. appreciated those memes. You know what I mean? And so I was like, well, if, I'm, if I am a Homer, I might as well just be Raider Homer because a lot of people liked those memes and used those memes. So I think, you know, I thought it was, you know, it's becoming a part of the Raider Nation culture. I think people will get it. And, and I think people have gotten it, you know, so that's where Raider Homer came from. Oh, yeah. I mean, because uh, I, I, at first I thought you were a Simpsons fan, but I kind of noticed that you are a uh, Marvel fan as what right. I heard about it. And as far as Matt Groening, I'm more of a Futurama fan. So I would have been Fry or Bender, you know, but when it comes to the Simpsons, you know, Homer really fits well. You know, the, the lovable, dumbass. That always goes to work, takes care of his kids, you know, and he'll kick your ass in the streets if he has to, you know what I mean? Oh, my but, God. But, you know, it's always, you know, I mean, you saw him dancing in the Springfield Stadium, you know, I would, you know, so it fit. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. And, yeah, let, uh, let's talk about podcasts as well. How did you get started with the uh, your own podcast? So... You know, I, there were some podcasts, you know, floating around that I really appreciated quality and video quality. And I wanted to voice my opinion because, again, you know, I was always arguing online with people, you know, so I wanted to actually voice my opinion and podcasts were really starting to blow up, either blowing up more and more every day. So I said, okay, well, I'll learn how to do this. You know, I had already had editing experience with my other channel, BoJack Fan ATX 1980, where I did okay. a bunch of, or I made a bunch of BoJack highlight videos. So I started, you know, looking around, trying to uh, find people to co-host with, and I called Angria Trask, and I said, hey, you know, I would love to work with you. And she was like, well, I'm super busy, understandably, and, you know, and she said, Heidi. I was like, all right, cool. And then so me and Heidi kind of uh, just worked it out. She came up with the name. I told her, I said, you know, hey, you know, you run this baby because you have more experience running it, a uh, podcast, than I do. And then I can kind of work on, you know, doing what Raider Homer, T3, T3 show, and, you know, mm -hmm. I was really pushing to get him to be a part of it because, I, I mean, he's, he was really good at delivering so I wanted him to be a part of it, and we invited him, and boom, here we are. The Only Nation Pod, uh, you know, going, editing episode one right now. So, I mean, we're getting closer and closer to 100. Uh, we, excitingly, right, uh, I looked up uh, top 25 Raider podcasts, and we popped up. You know what I mean? I forget. But you can just search. 
Oh. And, so, and we showed up in a couple of them. So I, because we worked hard, you know, and, and I think, hey, you know, that's what's kind of cool about Raider Nation. So that's what's cool about Raider Nation. It's not just, you know, podcasts or, you know, you got you know, musicians, you have uh, people designing hats, and you have a uh, graphic artist. You know, it's, it's, Raider Nation is very talented. And, and, you know, I think Raider Nation appreciates it. Uh, appreciate abilities and things like that. So, you know, we just kind of, now we just kind of work on, uh, you know, what we do as a podcast. We're, we're getting ready to come up with our uh, LLC. So, we're, you know, like I said, we, we, once we realized that we were kind of, you know, down, kind of getting lost, you have to edit, right? Help me out. Oh, edit stuff? It was good. The podcast is doing good. Like I said, it's, it's ranking, you know, in the top 25 out there. We're doing well as a podcast. I'm excited to work with uh, ID and T3. Awesome. And I kind of noticed on your uh, on Homer channel, you have almost like the like 700 subscribers. I can't even believe that. Uh, you know, it's hard to build an audience. You know what I mean? Uh, it, it really is. Because uh, not all of Descriptions, they don't mean you're going to get that many views, you know. It's just uh, it's a, it's a low percentage of the viewers, especially for my channel. But it is what it is. Like I said, the Only Nation podcast is doing well, so we're, you know, we're doing what we do. But, you know, the, the great thing about the Raider Homer channel or, you know, the Three Ring Circus is that it kind of, especially the Raider Homer channel, it really focused on what the Raider Nation was doing, you know, especially through COVID, you know what I mean? So there's a little bit oh, of yeah. historical... Uh, reference right there, you know, where you can go back and look and find out what the hell Raider Nation was doing there and then. You know, oh. but, but here with the Three Ring Circus, you know, we're looking to do some, you know, some silly, fun stuff, you know, but of course me and Sal and, and, and Puppet, you know, we're interested in covering the Raiders, kind of like, you know, the Only Nation podcast does, taking ourselves seriously, but having some fun. So that's, you know, that's, you know, the great thing about podcasts is just trying to get your voice out there and share your opinion with the Raider Nation because the Raider Nation is always looking for extra content when it comes to the Raiders. Oh, you're doing it, man. You're doing it for the Raider Nation content. I mean, I was looking for some, a lot of Raider Nation content back then, like around like the late 2000s and all of a sudden, like in the early or like 2010s, there weren't even like such theme content for the Raider Nation other than like people are talking about Raiders, which I do appreciate it, but there's just, there's just no such thing for like content for the Raider Nation. And that's why I wanted to create this channel just to talk about Raider Nation as well and talk about the team as well. Well, dude, yeah, just keep going, man. You grew up in Oakland, you know. You grew up on that field. You grew up in those tailgates, you know. So you have a passion for what you're doing, man. You know, you know and I wish you all the best for sure, Art. You're, you're you know, you uh, you got a great costume out there or, or war gear or whatever you want to call it. The letter you sent me thanking me for the show, you know, I uh, you know, I framed it, dude, and I have your, your card right there. I thought that was a really cool card. You know, oh, I appreciate yeah. what you do for the Raider Nation, and I, I look at the way you grew up, and I'm like, damn, I wish I would have grew up. You, know, you, you should keep going yeah, you know, what you're doing. You're going to really, you know, make some progress, dude in the right way oh yeah definitely i will continue now uh for uh this one uh what was it like you know being becoming like the uh president of the black hole chapter over in your hometown austin texas well i mean it was exciting because uh i went to oakland in 2018 and then again in 2019 and i mean i fell in love with oakland uh, you know, and, and so to bring a little bit of Oakland back to Austin, you know, with the black hole was exciting. And, you know, especially considering that I work a lot with Polo Rodriguez, you know, and uh, Oakland Raiders, now the president of the Santa Maria, after, you know, Ronnie and Matt Max, uh, Sammy, uh, Juan, the Raider Ramos, you know, so. I mean, it's, it's exciting to have the border chapters have my back and, and to watch the chapter, you know, I was a part of the Silver and Black of Central Texas for a long time. And I still have friends that, you know, I'll be at the tailgate with in Dallas, you know what I mean, that I've known since 2006. So that's what I'm trying to do, Black Hole, is just kind of generate this uh, 
you know, this family bond for you know, a solid friendship, best friend uh, relationships where we travel together and, you know, we, we can trust each other and I think is key. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, like every like all the Raider fans are starting with the uh, black hole chapters around the United States and even at the uh, Germany and uh, Mexico, from what I know about. Well, well like thanks to uh, Robert Vera, which unfortunately he's in the COVID at the moment. Uh, it's just please, everybody yeah. send like support. Rob. Yes. Yeah. Um, what is your relationship with uh, Mob Boss? You know, Mob Boss. Uh that I met in 2018 in Oakland before I ever even donned the mask. You know, it was before it was early on in the Raider Homer channels, uh, beginning, you know, where I was just cast how to even go live on YouTube and me, my daughter, my best friend, Caesar, you know, we all, and, you know, we're all walking into the, my daughter takes to Kevin boss and, you know, that's it. We go on and watch the game. And then the next year, I've already interviewed Kevin and our mob boss. The, 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 uh, the party, you know, and we actually, actually what before then, because he went to the, the uh, Radisson, and we went to the, you know, and, and paid our respects to Al. So, you know, starting then, you know, with the Raider Nation explosion and all kinds of the, the cool stuff that he does. Like, even anytime I do a charity here, he always has my back. Kind of like a, a, a man, didn't say type relationship, you know, Kevin, uh, things for the community, uh, you know, community and the community nationwide. Like that. It's, uh, it's a lot like Derek. I like Derek Carr. He, uh, you know, in, you know, uh, husband, all that stuff, you know, and he's a dedicated Raider, so I think individual, as well as a kick-ass character, you know what I mean, and so my relationship is, is based on what he does, and, you know, I love his family, too, because they're really, you know, Dre, and, you know, they're just really, he's a really good guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, me too. I mean, he's a cool guy to me also, you know. Um, yeah, he's done a lot for a long time in Oakland. Um, just, you know, helping with, you know, everybody in the Raider Nation. You know, that that, that takes a lot of work for, you know, people wanted to support just like we do. You know, we give support for the people, and especially kids, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that brings to that question. Uh, what kind of, like, the charity... Uh, some of the events that you do for your community of the Raider Nation or the Black Hole. Okay, well, yeah, of course, all of Raider Nation, uh, Black Hole, or what we do in the Black Hole for charity is, so we're going to do the second annual, but we're going to mix it with, like, a breast cancer awareness costume. Conquer is going to be, you know, the guest of honor and she'll be the guest of honor as well there because she's the one that runs costume connections so you know we want to help our kids and in, in our community costumes if they can't get them like every kid deserves to have fun during halloween and then us being raider nation when every day is halloween we definitely got to be giving back during hall because that way those kids they get to dress up and then uh, we do what we do yeah, I mean, pretty and much. After that, and after that, February, we have our third annual Texas Pig Crew fundraiser. Hopefully, we, or Kenny King, or, you know, one of the players come down, help us raise money for the Texas Pig Crew, which is a, like, a foster, a place that moves find places for dogs to live, and doing all kinds of dogs. It's actually... Uh, Raider Deadpool adopted his wrong. That's where we came up with the uh, coming on the Raider Homer channel. I mean, that interview. And so I want you know, to thank him for spending the time, you know, to come on my channel. You know, I reached out to you with the fundraiser, and that's the, that's the, you know, the place that he chose for us to money to. 
So that's in February. And then in May, we have the Wounded Warrior Project fundraiser, which is the Silver and Black Softball Tournament. Of course, that's when we will reach out to chapters here in Texas to compete against each other, as well as chapters from across the nation and hopefully internationally. I would like to get the Molosos to come be a part of this, uh, you know, and the Baja chapter and all them down there. Uh, you know, we'll see what happens from there. But those are our main charities, you know, so we like to help the kids get costumes and we're going to help raise awareness for breast cancer. And then we will do our part to help animals of our community with the Texas Big Crew. And then we do our part for the wounded warriors that have, you know, basically sacrificed, you know, what they had to sacrifice to get to keep us, you know, free and doing podcasts and, you know, having a good time. So we definitely cannot forget about the veterans that are wounded. So to me, that's pretty important because a lot of my, the members in my family, uh, you know, they went to the military. So wow. what we like to do for charity. Wow. Yeah. I like dogs too. You know, I, I have two dogs. Uh, one was, uh, King Corso. Nice. I have two, I have a uh, half pit. We call her puddles. Uh, then we, I have a half German dog, uh, no half, uh, Doberman named, um, uh, Barrett. Barrett? Barrett. Oh, okay. Like Barrett Robbins. Oh, <laughs> Barrett Robbins. Wow. Yeah, I did he not know that. Named, he wasn't named after Barrett, though, but just like his name. Pronounced like his name. Oh, I see. All right, well, let's talk about the Raiders, man. Like, uh, last uh, Sunday or Monday, the um, Redskins, I mean, what, 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 what were we playing the last time? The Ravens. Oh, Ravens. What What do you think about that uh, game and your first experience going to the uh, Legion Stadium? The Legion Stadium was awesome. You know, that was fantastic. You know, to see that home that the Raider Nation has now and the Raiders have now, you know, it was great to see that. You know, I was able to see the torch. We, were, we went outside. We saw the bricks, the legacy bricks. You know, the tailgating was fun. It was a fantastic experience. Uh, now, the game, though, man, that was super exciting. Uh, you know, of course, Derek Carr started off rough. Uh, you know, first game of the season. A lot of people were complaining, but we've already talked about that. I know. You know but, of course, he brings us back, and I was there, man. I think that that was really awesome to see that kind of comeback, you know, and <laughs> just sit there and cheer as loud as I could. You know, because usually I'm at the South Austin Beer Garden with the Black Hole. I can't necessarily just scream my head off. But inside of that stadium, that's what you were supposed to do. And I got to do it, and I had a great time doing it. And it was one of the best experiences of my life, sitting there with my friend Callie Mark, watching the game. And that was our second game that we've been to on the Monday Night Live home opener that, you know, the Raiders got a victory, which is kind of cool because – Every almost uh, yeah, pretty much every game that I went to before them, I saw the Raiders lose. So I was uh, on a rough patch. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, it almost it was a fantastic experience. Vegas is insane. It's a city that you know it, it just keeps on going. You know, so it, it was it was a great time though. Something you know, a weekend to remember. Yeah, just to add to it because like it, we almost like lose in like over like twenty seven, but all of a sudden we got up to like the thirty score for you know the touchdown like in uh, overnight man that is a crazy experience on that night oh yeah oh yeah man you know and thank you know i got lucky and got on tv so that was kind of fun you know oh, I see what you. i liked about that was it was they showed me at the end of regulation when it was 27 27 on such a wild roller coaster uh you know game at the end of it, there's Raider Homer. Just like in the memes, he doesn't go nowhere. <laughs> memes. Yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, so, um, one last question. Any advice to the younger generations or the the younger adults today that want to get involved with the costume just like the Raider Nation does? You know, uh, there are better people to ask that question. You know what I mean? Uh, better people to guide you, but you know, I feel like uh, if I were to pass on what I've been told, you know, just respect what was done before you because, you know, people have been down roads that they might just be trying to warn you of something that could happen. So always 
respect what's been done before you and listen to people. Uh, try to be original, right? Don't don't oh, yeah. mimic somebody and, and make sure that if you find somebody that uh, your your outfit is similar to, maybe change yours. You know that the main thing is right is that it's about what kind of passion you put into it. You know what I mean? Oakland Raider Savage, he has a couple characters that he's developing. You know, and so oh, it, wow. it's just about it doesn't matter what costume you have. It's about your passion and your energy for the team. And, and your understanding of the Raider Nation and what it means. Uh, and again, you know, just, you know, respect what's happened before you because they experienced some things that they might, you know, be trying to warn you about. And also watch out for, you know, people that would take advantage of you. Uh, I know that one thing I've had to learn is that, you know, I'm always willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and that's come back to bite me in the ass a couple of times. You know, and Raider Rob, you know, he... Really, in, in in Vegas during the draft party, his live broadcast. Yeah. Um, you know, after that broadcast, I mean, he really drilled me on what you know to watch out for. And you know, I'm hard headed, so it took me a minute to kind of figure it out. But he was right, you know. So just be careful, watch out for people, because you know, just like the real world out there, uh, the Raider Nation has different types of people. You know what I mean? So, you know, you watch out for the red flags, but, uh, you know, remember, you know, if you keep doing good, you know, you're going to find good people. It's just a matter of figuring out who's the good people and who's the, the negative people quickly. But just honor what's been done before you. Be original and, uh, you know, watch out, you know, and, and represent the Raiders with pride and poise and a commitment to excellence and represent the Raider Nation the same way. You know, because the Raider Nation is, you know, you know, it's cast in a certain light of negativity, you know. Uh, and, of course, we just talked about, like, you know, in all societies, there is a bit of that. But for the most part, it is about, you know, trying to help the kids, you know, learn how to socialize, you know, be a part of something bigger than them, you know, get back to the community, so there's a lot of great things to it. So the Raider Nation is a fantastic thing to be a part of. Just be careful and be original. And watch out. And have a good time. And, you know, go Raiders. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I think for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different for my costume, like maybe in the future, but not right now. But uh, I could be more into the development with the new styles and uh, uh, something like not not a lot, but a little. But your 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 look, dude, is is just as classic as the Raider uniform itself. I mean, in fact, it is the Raider uniform. So, you know, don't ever go too far away from that. Always bring that back, because Art, you got the greatest costume I think out there, man. From from when you were a kid to where you are now, man, it's a grown man. You know, so but yeah, of course, have some fun. Be creative. That's what being original is. But. You know, because hey, I know one thing, you're looking so cool. I'd like to, to use that look at, with the Raider Homer in some of these shows. So what do you think? Is that all right to kind of borrow your look? Well, not don't, I don't mind, but I, I just don't have a lawyer. But, you know, not to try have anybody just to whoa, steal whoa, it from whoa, calm down. It was not immediately like that. No, because one thing I wanted to do was also reach out to uh, Wayne, right? And, and, and maybe one time for one show paint my face in the Violator style. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Wayne's then, cool. You know, uh, I'll see if I can find a mask that's similar to Mob Boss or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, uh, do you go for, like, Butt Light or Modelo? Oh, man. Whatever. Whatever's free. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to be picky when it comes to beer. Oh, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Now, before I let you go, is there any promotions, any social media, or any websites, podcasts, whatever you wanted to bring to the Raider Nation? Uh, yeah, you know, ChuckyStugs.com. You know, uh, they, Beverly and Norm, they are some really genuinely good people and some dedicated Raider fans that are, you know, trying to be a part of the Raider Nation as well as, you know, build a brand. So go to ChuckyStugs.com. And enter their code Homer to get fifteen percent off of your purchase. And uh, make sure you go to jr 60 brandscom as well. Joker Raider is a really cool guy, also uh, for the fans, by the fans, and he is definitely one that likes to provide, you know, some great merchandise 
And like I said, it's for the fans, by the fans, superior product for superior fan base. So go to those two websites. Awesome, awesome. Well, Homer, thank you for coming into my show, and uh, hopefully we'll meet each other like in the next explosion next year, or like any future events that is going to be going on uh, in this area, like in the state of California or Nevada, you know, in the future. Well, I'll be in Sanger this weekend. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure about that event, but. Uh... Yeah, but hey, uh, would you like to give me a Go Raider sound and uh, say hello to the, uh, like, give shout outs to the Raider Nation that you know? Uh, yeah, what's up, Raider Nation? Hope everything's going well. Make sure you stay positive. And I mean, don't be bitching about the team. That's what I mean by positive. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Go Raiders. All right. Well, thank you, Homer. Thank you for coming into my show. All right, no problem. Thank you. Take care of yourself. The Raider Art Show is sponsored by Harrow Artist. Log on to HarrowGeorge.com. Harrow Artist features notable of the amazing comments, drawing videos, covers, and more. Make sure you subscribe to Harrow's YouTube channel called The Harrow Network, where you will get drawing video updates from Harold himself. Check out Harold's social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Harold Artist, of course. Log on to HaroldGeorge.com. All right, Raider Nation, that was Raider Homer, man. That man, he's so positive for things. Yeah, just like he said, you know, to stop bitching about the team and just you know, have fun. You know, uh, you know, it has to take a lot of sacrifice to work in uh, charity events, especially the Black Hole chapter, like he said. Uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, shout-outs to Raider Rob as well. Uh, I'm gonna, my, I'm gonna have to have him on my show for my next one soon if I can, so, uh, yeah, uh, stay put. Yeah, I'll, I'll might figure something else soon, so. Anyways, moving on to the, um, this segment right here, Raider Memes. Now, four memes that we have today that are new or old ones, so, uh, let's check them out. Uh, the first meme right here, it says, Hey, AFC West, TB12 is gone. We can't wait to get out of self-quarantine. Raiders are back. <laughs> okay, that's, that's uh, little Chucky right there uh, peeking. Just like, you know, like, here's Johnny. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Uh, next one, right here it says, ESPN said that the Chiefs were going to win. Uh, Nation. Oh, okay, so this is a comic uh, comic from the, uh, the Batman. In the background, there's, you know, Batman slamming... Uh, Robin in the face, uh, you know, physically, but, yeah, <laughs> okay, I, di I didn't see that coming right there, uh, the next one, it says, Pops Tripping, he wants me to ask if y'all still a nation, <laughs> okay, this is a screenshot from the, uh, Friday movie, uh, where he, you know, um, he got, uh, hit by, um, Debo, you know, like the delay actor, uh, yeah, and the, on on the on the left right there it says we suck. What we suck? Are you kidding me? No, we never suck. I mean, we 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 wanted to win. We, like we wanted to win like a Super Bowl. No, uh, no, uh, no matter what, right? Yeah. So, okay. Well, all right. Uh, the last one right here for this meme it says Raider Nation at two to twelve. Haven't had a uh, winning season in over a decade, and still talk about rings from 30 years ago. But that's none of my business. Oh, okay, um, this is Kermit the Frog drinking uh, tea, uh, I think from the commercial or something. Yeah, yeah. It, it's true, though. We, we never, like, win a Super Bowl for over a year. Like, back in 2003, um, we tried to, but uh, unfortunately, we uh, they won uh, one of the... Uh, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they, they won for the Super, uh, Super Bowl, uh, unfortunately, so, uh, that, that's just a sad history right there, but hopefully in the future, we might get a fourth Super Bowl, no matter what, uh, just a special enough, and, like, in, in any wise, so, in certain ways, so, all right, well, that's it for today on the, uh, uh, number five of Radar Art Show, so, uh, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below, uh, you can even call me, uh, for the, this number right here, 
It's uh, 209-809-0195, or you can leave a voicemail and uh, send a message, and I'll share it to my next show, as uh, as for, like, many promises as well. So, because, uh, uh, although, you know, this show is really dedication to uh, Black Hole Robert Vera, as I'm seeing condolences to his family, so, uh, we'll, also, we're going to be putting out a GoFundMe page, for, uh, put a link in the description box, uh, just to help them out, uh, just to figure something out for his funeral, uh, maybe we'll might attend, well, we're not sure, but, uh, we'll give some love and support for his, uh, his family, and, uh, you know, giving to the late Rob Rivera to uh, his big love for all of us in the Raider Nation, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be the promised thing, so I'll put a link in the description box, and, uh, and you can, uh, so, uh, before I let you go, you can also find me on, uh, social media, uh, Facebook, it's at Raider R Inc., Twitter, it's at Raider R Inc., and... Instagram, it's at Radar Inc. So uh, these are three social media that I have. Although I don't, I don't like doing this a lot of uh, social media in personal ways, but uh, I, I just do this for entertaining and fun, uh, just like everybody. So, uh, so thanks again, Raider Nation. Uh, peace out, uh, peace and love and positivity. Uh, figure something out pretty soon for the next one for the Raiders. Check in news on the Raiders, and we'll see what's going to happen. So uh, stay safe and have a damn great one.